Here are nine health expert Dr. Paul Coley back with us to talk about what these vaccines could mean for kids. We're talking about how well these vaccine works for, works for children, but also the impact it's going to have on our population because this is the largest segment of the population that at this point has been unvaccinated. So true. You know, every time I look at that pie that we show of Coloradans that are unvaccinated, the one that stands out to me are the, the kids, kids, the ones that are not eligible to get the vaccine. So I think today is a day for celebration. You know, the FDA has cleared the path for this to have CDC approval and full FDA approval as well. And if this comes through by next week, potentially we could start to see our kids getting vaccinated. So when the vaccine was approved for most of us, we all became the vaccine hunter in the middle That's of the night, right. getting the appointment. That's right. But um, when you're talking to your kids, parents go, Ooh, is this safe? Is it safe? What, what's your answer? So what we have seen based on the data so far, and the challenge here, Kim and Tom, is to take a small data set of kids, a few thousand kids, and extrapolate it to the millions of kids that are then going to be receiving this. So we have seen that it's very safe and very well tolerated. In fact, the kids have fewer side effects than the adults, perhaps because the dose is lower. Yeah. Now I will give a little tiny grain of salt, which is again what I just said, that as you start giving it to millions of people, those small safety signals start to emerge. We don't know about those yet, but given the risk benefit of, you know, our kids ending up in the ICU or not being able Ugh. to get back to school versus the benefit, I'm very much in favor of the vaccine. So uh, me as a sports fan, I keep reading about certain athletes who say they're going to do their own research on some of this stuff. Yeah. You actually do your own research and you actually can understand a lot of these documents, a lot of these studies and what we find out. So the question becomes for you, if you had a child, would you be lining up to get them vaccinated? You know, I don't have a child, but I do have a nephew. He's four years old, and I cannot wait for the day that his vaccine becomes approved because I think the overwhelming majority of data in the adults, in the adolescents, and now in this age group has shown us not only how safe, but how effective this is, how helpful this is at getting our life back to normal. So 100% yes, if I had a, a child in that age group, I'd take them as soon as it's available. And we just heard from a pediatrician last week who said, I, first thing, when my daughter was ready, because she was 12, he goes, got her the shot. Well, you know, that's so funny. A lot you want to discuss this with yeah. them. Yeah, a lot of my colleagues that are pediatricians actually enrolled their kids in the clinical trial See, as that a tells way you. to maybe get them the vaccine sooner. Yeah, so, but then, okay, so let's say parents are saying, no, I'm in, but I don't know which one, Pfizer or Moderna. Yeah, so we haven't done a head-to-head -head comparison, but you know what we have seen in, in adults is that both of them perform extremely well. What we have seen in kids, their doses differences, right? Their right. dosage differences between the two, but they're really both very potent at generating an antibody response. Now the dosage differences may translate into a difference in how long that immunity lasts, just like we saw with the adults, that Moderna was performing better for longer against the Delta, especially than Pfizer was. But I think that initial protection is gonna be very similar between the two. Well, you talk about those being different, kids are different. And when mm -hmm. you talk about five to 11, the difference between a five-year-old and 11-year-old, that's a big span. So your pediatrician might be your best source here is trying to determine if you wanna make a choice between one of those vaccines or the other? Your pediatrician, not WebMD or Google, Dr. Not Google, Google. anything. Yeah, yeah. just yeah. like your sports friends are doing, Tom. Yeah, all those guys. <laughs> Absolutely. Talk to your pediatrician. Talk to the pharmacist. If you can't get into a pediatrician, talk to your healthcare provider. But make sure you talk to people. Make sure you get the information. Because once you have that information, I have no doubt you will get your children vaccinated. So many people have so many questions. Uh, we don't have as much time here on the air to do this. But Dr. Coley is going to be talking more about vaccines and kids. That's live on the 9 news app coming up in a few minutes once we get her to leave here. Usually we sit around and chat during the commercial. Because we like a Dr. Coley <laughs> versus a Dr. Google because there is no Dr. Google. But we'll get her out of here so you can see her on the 9 News app in just a few minutes. You can click on the watch tab and you can listen in on that conversation and learn more about it. It's such an important topic for parents, for kids, for schools. It's going to affect all of us and we're, we're looking forward to see what the information is on these. We always look forward to visiting with you. Thanks Dr. Coley.